Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at a limit problem in this video. So in this problem, we have the limit as x approaches 4 of the square root of x plus 5 minus 3 over x minus 4. So the first thing you want to do when you have a limit problem is try and substitute this 4 in for x. Well, if we did that, we would find out that we get a 0 in the denominator, which would end up making this undefined. So if this is undefined, that means we need to reduce this down. That means this isn't in simplest form, and we need to reduce it down. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. So we'll do that in a green color. So we've got the square root of x plus 5 plus 3 over the square root of x plus 5 plus 3. And that's our conjugate. So if we multiply the numerator by the conjugate, we're going to end up with, a, with the square root of x plus 5 minus 3 times the square root of x plus 5 plus 3. That is a difference of squares. So we're going to need to know the difference of squares formula in order to reduce that down. So the difference of squares formula is a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. So we need to get our a squared and our b squared. So our a term is going to be the square root of x plus 5, and our b term is just going to be 3. So a squared minus b squared is going to equal the square root of x plus 5 quantity squared minus 3 squared. That's our a term and that's our b term. So anything that's a square root to the square is going to give you what's inside the square root symbol. So that's just x plus 5 minus, well, 3 squared is 9, which now we have x minus 4. So x minus 4 is now going to be our numerator. So let's just rewrite that. We have the limit as x approaches 4. Our numerator is x minus 4. And our denominator is x minus 4 times that conjugate that we multiplied by. So we have x plus 5 plus 3. So now at this point, we see that we have x minus 4 in the numerator and the denominator, so those can cancel out, which now gives us the limit as x approaches 4 of 1 over the square root of x plus 5 plus 3. So now we've reduced this down as far as we can. So now that we've gotten to this point, let's go ahead and put 4 in for x. So now we have 1 over the square root of 4 plus 5 plus 3, which that gives us 1 over the square root of 9 plus 3. Well, the square root of 9 is 3, so we end up with 1 over 3 plus 3, which gives us 1 over 6, and that is the answer to this limit problem. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.